Hi, today uh, we are here again at the power wall and today I want to talk about the most confusing issue when it comes to lithium ion phosphate chemistry. And this is, you probably heard it, the term, the resting of the cells. So what resting means is in the situations when you do not charge or discharge your pack, the voltages of the pack will not be stable in this chemistry. It depends if you just stop charging for example or you just stop discharging the voltage which you see then is just some intermediate state. So the ions inside the cells will still keep moving they will try to find a place where they can basically lay down and uh, and rest right and because i have actually two uh, battery system on, on my property which are different uh, chemistry the one is lithium polymer the other one here is uh, lithium iron phosphate we can exactly show you uh, what the differences look like and what it also means if you want to uh, basically uh, find out your state of charge by just look, looking on voltages. So let's take the cameras and uh, the first uh, system we will look at is the lithium polymer in my power room of the off-grid system. So this here will be our reference system uh, on the down there. This is a 10 kilowatt hour lithium polymer pack. So there is a lot of pouch cells inside, probably NCM chemistry. Uh, the second camera will watch the voltage, this one, the red value. And at the moment the battery is charged with 47 amps, which is perfect because our other systems, the LFP, uh, the charges also have 45 amps, so it's almost same conditions. And we are going to shut down the DC from the solar array and then uh, the charges will stop charging the battery and we will watch what happens on the voltage. So let's do this. DC voltage off. Inverter. Okay, drop down. No more charging. It's now taking 2 amps from the battery, which is okay, it's good enough, and the voltage dropped. But as you can see, the voltage, once the difference, voltage difference from the chargers, right, the chargers have to apply higher voltage so that they can push uh, the energy into the battery. Uh, once this is gone, you will have a stable idle voltage on the battery and there will be no more changes. And you see with a chemistry like this, it's very easy to just uh, check out the state of charge. The only thing for my lithium polymer pack is I just printed out a table here and you just go into the table, check for the voltage, now 51.5, we are not charging at the moment, this gives me a state of charge of 50%. So very, very easy to find out uh, the state of charge in these chemistries. So let's see what lithium ion phosphate is doing in the same situation. So we are at the LFP pack, lithium ion phosphate, 12 kilowatt hours available on this one so a little bit bigger than the other one and at the moment we are charging with both chargers so these are both on and they are pushing 40 almost 45 amps so also quite similar as on the other system and what we are doing here now is we will turn off the chargers by the breakers and then see what happens with the voltage the second camera will again uh, keep a close eye on it. 
Okay, camera is running and both breakers off. Okay, charges stopped. We are showing zero amps and we will monitor the voltage. Okay, charges stopped. We are showing zero amps and we will monitor the voltage. So as you could see the voltage of course also initially dropped because this charger has uh, stopped pushing current and but slowly you see that yeah. lithium ion phosphate the voltage still did not settle so it's still continuing to go down. We are going to continue filming this and I will then show you on the video how much time expired and how the progress on this is. So we are doing this experiment here at a relatively low state of charge, so and these processes would be more uh, visible of course at high state of charges because the internal resistance would force uh, all these uh, voltages to be a bigger differences etc. So it's now almost uh, 5 minutes past voltage will continue dropping and if you would come here keep it shut off for another hour you would find the voltage have dropped even more so that is the process of resting the battery cells are trying to reach their resting state which is uh, a big difference to other chemistries. We now stop this here and we will again charge and then I will explain you about uh, how to access state of charge of lithium ion phosphate only by measuring voltages. So let's open the charges again. again 45 amps charging and now the voltage it's not a very quick process also here it takes a while until uh, the chargers can push the pack out of the resting into some sort of uh, active state Also, this might take probably around one minute, two minutes until we stabilize some uh, voltage difference. But here, as I said, this one is actually a column meter, so the state of charge which is showing is based on calculation of the energy flow. My controller is using only voltage based state of charge indication and this one it says now 37 this one says 35 so they are still close together so how is this actually possible so when you build a controller like this there's a microprocessor inside and microprocessors of course they are uh, programmable and what I did, I found out the charging disk charge curve of uh, my 
pack, right? How did I do that? So I was charging with uh, one charger, it was the number two charger, and every like say 10% shown on the column meter, I switched off the charger and then I waited. That is very important. I waited to one minute and 20 seconds in my case, and I let the voltage drop initially until you know it starts to slow down the voltage drop because at the beginning you know it's just falling 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 very quickly you can't even record a value so I waited you can wait one minute two minutes whatever and then I have recorded the number and based on that number I have basically generated my voltage curve and based on that voltage curve everything else is calculated by the microcontroller so usually it's uh, quite close together it of course uh, is a little bit difficult with lithium-ion phosphate because of all these uh, processes which are going on so the microcontroller needs to really consider everything you know every change in the state charging, idling and lithium ion phosphate in addition to the to voltage a very important component is time so the time factor needs to be considered right because the time factor is uh, basically telling uh, how far the, the pack is inside resting state right that makes it uh, really hard so but you know it all can be done if you want it of course so now now the the state of charge between those two is pretty far off but uh, it will change again because the controller will, will kind of notice what is going on that we are uh, restarted uh, the charging and it will it will correct again and they will come together again probably pretty soon just because you see voltage is still rising so it's a very long process until everything is stabilizing you see now just a minute later now the controller is starting to uh, kind of catch up with the situation and the state of charge is again into very equal uh, more or less. As a summary, there's two very important takeaways of this. Number one, a LFP cell always wants to reach its resting state. So it actually, it absolutely does not matter if you charge your batteries to 3.65 volts, for example, and float it there the maximum resting voltage of a lithium-ion phosphate cell is somewhere around 3.45 volts so everything what you what is higher and you keep it there because you maintain constant voltage during your, your charging final charging state is irrelevant for that cell right because the first moment you allow it it will drop down to its resting voltage anyways and the second thing is if you want to know uh, about what state of charge your cell is in, you need to also consider the factor time. Without the factor time you don't know uh, what is going on in the cell because the voltage will drop and th this would, could also be interpreted that uh, the state of charge is lower. But it's not. The, the, the cell is still 100% charged. Uh, if it uh, drops down uh, the voltage from from idle to resting, right? So that's that's the most two important things uh, you have to consider about lithium-ion phosphate. As you can see, lithium-ion phosphate is a very different chemistry, very dynamic. You have to really well understand it if you want to work uh, on it and build your your system around it it can many times cause a little bit confusion but with a background knowledge 
it's all okay. So I hope that these kind of videos which are trying to look a little bit behind the science of the battery technology is interesting to you. So I'm trying to always find a few topics which are not covered as well by other channels. Thank you for watching uh, this episode. Please, uh, as always, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't subscribe yet, subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you.